Hello friends, welcome to Pharma Dish. Here we will provide you the study material for online GPAT preparation according to the latest GPAT syllabus. Yes, here we will provide you the study material for upcoming graduate pharma aptitude test. So today the subject is name reaction of organic chemistry and the topic is Ulf Kishner reduction reaction and Huang Minlong modification reaction. Okay, so uh, according to the GPAT organic chemistry syllabus under carbonyl chemistry there are several name reactions. So we will discuss one by one. So in this video we will discuss Ulf Kishner reduction reaction along with the modification that is the Huang Minlong modification which is important for GPAT exam. Okay. So what is the Ulf Kishner reaction? This is the conversion of aldehyde and ketone to the alkane. So Ulf Kishner reaction is a reduction reaction where aldehyde and ketones reduced to alkane. So conversion of aldehyde and ketone to the alkane is the basic of Ulf Kishner reaction. Now this aldehyde and ketones they are the carbonyl compounds. So we can say conversion of carbonyl compounds to alkane is the basics of Ulf Kishner reaction. Now what are the carbonyl compound? These compounds simplify as the following formula that is R1 C double bond O R2. That means compound having carbon atom double bonded to the oxygen atom is known as carbonyl compounds. So aldehyde and ketones both under the comes under the carbonyl compounds. Now the Ulf Kishner reaction involves the following steps. We will not go details in the reaction mechanism. We will just discuss the important points which are required for GPAT exam. So this reaction involves the following steps. Number one, condensation of hydrogen with ketone or aldehyde substrate that is the carbonyl compound. So condensation reaction of hydrogen with ketone or aldehyde substrate to form hydrazone. So in the first step hydrogen will convert it to hydrogen will convert it to hydrazone. This hydrogen will convert it to hydrazone with the help of ketone or aldehyde. Then in the second step this hydrazone will convert it to correspondence alkane by the reaction with base one strong base and in presence of heat. Okay. So carbonyl compound if we simplify that carbonyl compound in that may be aldehyde or ketone having the carbonyl group that is the C double bond O group in the presence of hydrogen and a strong base that is the potassium hydroxide and in the presence of feed will convert to alkane and nitrogen gas will generate. This is the basics of Ulf Kishner reaction. So Ulf Kishner reaction is a reduction type reaction which needs high temperature to occur the reaction. For this reaction high boiling point for this reaction we use the high boiling point solvent like ethylene glycol which will provide high temperature for the reaction to occur. So what, will, what is the solvent used in this Ulf Kishner reaction? We will use ethylene glycol as solvent. Consa solvent use karte? Ethylene glycol. Q? Because this ethylene glycol is a high boiling point solvent. So it will provide high temperature which is needed to reaction to occur. Okay. Now what, now what is hydrogen? It is an inorganic compound having the following formula N2H4 or NH2 NH2 okay so it's a very toxic compound that is the hydrogen it has the formula NH2 NH2 or simply N2H4 what is the hydrogen these are the organic compounds having the following structure like R1 R2C double bond N NH2 or we can simplify it as C double bond N where N is C double bond this is N C double bond N where N is related to or directly attached to amino group NH2 group and C is attached to two different group R1 and R2. Okay. Now come to the next point Huang Minlong modification. 
So what is this Huang Minlong modification? What is the Huang Minlong modification? It is the modified Wolf Kishner reaction. Okay, it's a modified Wolf Kishner reduction reaction. What it involves this Huang Minlong modification involves that is the refluxing of carbonyl substrate. What are the carbonyl substrate? As we discussed earlier, aldehyde or ketone. Yes. So it involves the refluxing of the carbonyl substrate that is aldehyde or ketone with 85% hydrogen hydrate and sodium hydroxide in presence of ethylene glycol, the solvent, followed by distillation. Yes, followed by distillation. Why to distill? To remove excess hydrogen and water from hydrogen. Now, here we reflux the carbonyl substrate with 85% hydrogen and we know by this reaction hydrogen will convert it to hydrazone. Now distillation Q karte hai? because to remove excess hydrogen and water from hydrogen. Then in the next step we will increase the temperature to 200 degree centigrade. Why? to remove nitrogen. So these are the modifications. So what are the modifications? In the first step, we reflux the carbonyl substrate with 85% hydrogen hydrate in presence of the solvent ethylene glycol and one strong base like sodium hydroxide. We will go for distillation. Why? To remove excess hydrogen from hydrazon, okay, and excess water from hydrazon. Then we will increase the temperature to, to, to 200 degree centigrade to remove nitrogen gas. Now, what are the advantage of Huang Minlang modification? We get the pure product and the yieldness of the product is also increased. Okay, the yield of the product is also increased. Now, the, this is the schematic representation for you people for better understandings of Huang Minlong modification where carbonyl compound as we discussed that is aldehyde or ketone in presence of hydrogen, sodium hydroxide undergo reflux then distillation, why to distillation? To remove excess hydrogen then we increase the temperature to 200 degree centigrade, why? To, ex to remove nitrogen gas and then it will form corresponding alkene. The solvent is used is ethylene glycol. So this is the schematic uh, diagram for Huang Minlong modification. Okay. So this completes the Wolf Kishner reaction along with the Huang Minlong modification, which is important points for your upcoming GPAT examination. For graduate pharma aptitude states, this much is required. Okay. No details re of mechanism action is required as we go through the previous year question. Usme dikha gaya hai ke jada details me nahi puste hai mechanism of action se. Okay. So we will go through this and this will cover the requirement for your GPAT. So if you like our video, please like Pharmadis for GPAT preparation and for remaining name reaction as per GPAT syllabus as well as for we will provide you the MCQ type solve mock test also. Okay. So by PharmaDish, aapko kya milega? GPAT preparation ke liye study materials along with or jidna REM reaction hai, wo bhi aapko bataya jayega and we will provide you the MCQ type solve mock test question. Okay, thank you. If you like our video, please like PharmaDish and please subscribe PharmaDish. Thank you.